Now, the Commonwealth speeds up a plan to determine if tolls on Interstate 81 would be a good way for future road projects. 10 News reporter Allison Wickline hit the highway to hear from drivers who would pay the most. The possibility of truck tolls on Interstate 81 is getting closer. The General Assembly passed a bill earlier this year directing Virginia to start looking at how tolls would impact the interstate and if revenue from tolls could be used to pay for interstate improvement projects. The study would focus on high occupancy toll lanes and heavy commercial vehicles like tractor trailers. We're going to add one more cost to, a, to an industry right now that's already stretched pretty thin. The study, which will begin next month, leaves Lawrence companies with lots of questions. Would those companies come here that really depend on our interstate highway if there was more congestion on the roads that get them to the interstate and if there was a lot more expense? According to VDOT, up to 40% of 81's traffic is big rigs. So Segal K not only worries about losing business, he is also concerned about drivers on secondary roads where truckers may travel to avoid tolls. The other impact of this is going to be moving traffic off of the interstate onto these ancillary roads uh, where we already have issues and, uh, and, and the congestion is going to get much worse for the daily commuters that are using 460 and Route 11. Supporters of the study have said looking at tolls is important, especially with parts of Interstate 81 in rough condition. The study should be completed by the end of the year. In Roanoke County, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you.